All right, our next presenter is Sarah Gillespie, College of Education and Human Development from the Developmental Psychology PhD program. In diverse democratic societies, high school students often need to learn more than reading, writing, and arithmetic to build strong relationships and feel a sense of agency in their communities. They also benefit from a deeper understanding of their own ethnic racial identity, like Hmong, white, or African American, which can be protective against racism for students of color and reduce racial bias among white students. My research aims to understand how high schools can promote this identity development and prepare students to thrive in diverse democracies. To ground my research, I'll take you back to the 1960s, when a multiracial coalition of college students went on strike nationwide to demand courses that spoke to their identities and the realities of racism in America. Their strike led to the creation of the nation's first ethnic studies departments, and hundreds more have been created in the decades since. Thanks to their efforts, students today are increasingly taking courses that encourage them to learn about their ethnic racial group's history and learn about their role in promoting a more equitable society. But this is not without controversy. As you can see in this map, states around the nation have proposed legislation to either expand or ban ethnic studies classes. Many bans are based on the fear that these discussions increase racial animosity while proponents of these courses see them as a way to overcome centuries of racism. As a researcher, I see policy change as an opportunity to bring evidence into this national conversation. For my dissertation, I partnered with Minneapolis Public Schools. In 2021, they became one of the first districts in the nation to require an ethnic studies class to graduate. To evaluate the effect of this policy, I surveyed students and statistically compared their attitudes and behaviors after taking an ethnic studies class to a control group of students who had not yet taken the course. Through this natural experiment, I hope to help other districts understand how these classes impact students. So what did I find? Compared to the control group, ethnic studies students had a deeper understanding of their ethnic racial identity. They were also much more eager to learn about others from different backgrounds. These students saw difference as an opportunity to learn and view diversity as an asset to our society rather than a threat to themselves. Ethnic studies students were also more active participants in their communities through civic engagement activities like joining clubs, signing petitions, and going to protests. Just like the original student protesters who launched the ethnic studies movement, young people today can become engaged and empowered citizens. Importantly, my results show that the effects were the same for students of color and white students. Overall, my dissertation suggests that expanding ethnic studies classes nationwide could encourage students to embrace diversity and become more active members of our democracy, which in turn benefits our entire society. Thank you.